that was a shock to me. Barb Bonifont says her longtime friends, the Hunkas, are now in hiding in North Bay. I'm sure uh, afraid to show their faces. And Bonifont says she's known the family for more than 30 years. The Hunka family is known for their integrity. She says all she knew about Yaroslav Hunka is that he's Ukrainian. <laughs> Last Friday, during the Ukrainian president's visit, their local MP, Speaker of the House, Anthony Roda, paying tribute to his guest, 98-year-old Hunka. It later came to light, Hunka fought in a Nazi military unit. Days later, Rhoda resigned and the Prime Minister apologized. The family isn't talking publicly, but Bonifant received a message from Hunka's daughter-in-law after the appearance. She said that her family was shocked of what happened and if her and her husband would have had any idea what was going to happen, they would have never ever brought this 98-year-old man to, to Ottawa. Bonifant says the family didn't know about Rhoda's plan to honor Hunka in Parliament and says she's sad about how everything's played out. They just thought he would be in the same room as the president. How does a mistake like that happen? How does it happen? Both Hunka and Rhoda separately dined at Hannah and Ivan Schrute's restaurant. Like many in the community, they're upset the Prime Minister hasn't also shouldered the blame. If your uh, soldiers uh, make a mistake, the, the, uh, uh, the general is responsible. And this is the case that, you know, that he should be the one that, uh, you know, that is uh, maybe step away as well. Larry Fold says Rhoda called him personally to apologize. Fold lost family in the Holocaust. I know who he is as a person and uh, I, I know he has certainly no forethought of malice. Fold said an investigation needs to happen into Hunka's past for everyone's sake. Either he should be exonerated and we should know that he came here properly and that there, there's nothing in, you know, in, in the background or we should find out that there is and you know the proper authorities will deal with it. Right now, the only one who knows some of the answers that people are seeking is Yaroslav Hunka himself. His family has received CBC's request for an interview, but has not yet responded. Ashley Burke, CBC News, North Bay, Ontario.